Mr. Lee. My name's Braithwaite. Hello, Mr. Braithwaite. I've come to speak to you about a matter of great importance. Have some tea? Yes, indeed. Ah. This is very pleasant. At an outside table, they are served tea in tiny ornate cups. Lee rises briefly and nods in thanks. Mr. Lee, I've come to speak to you about a tournament of martial arts, a tournament to which you've already received an invitation. Specifically, a tournament organized by Mr. Han. Han's tournament. I know, I know, I know. But we'd very much like you to attend that particular tournament, Mr. Lee. We, oui, Mr. Braithwaite? A teenage boy approaches. It's Lao's time. Yes, of course. The boy bows and clasps his hand in greeting. Lee screws his fist into the palm of his other hand and nods. Keg me. Keg me. Lee drops into a defensive stance. The boy kicks at Lee's head and misses. What was that? An exhibition? We need emotional content. Try again. The boy purses his mouth in determination. He kicks out again. The boy kicks air as Lee glides back effortlessly. Lee closes in. I said emotional content, not anger. Now try again with me. Lee's eyes bore into the teenager. The boy shuffles and kicks. Lee dodges. <laughs> That's it. How did it feel to you? Let me think. Don't think. Feel. It is like a finger pointing away to the moon. Don't. Concentrate on the finger or you will miss all that heavenly glory. Do you understand? The boy nods and smiles. Lee slaps his crown. Never take your eyes off your opponent, even when you bow. That's it. The boy bows, eyeing Lee all the time, then trots away, 